Oh, Welcome yeah. to Toronto! Oh, yeah. All right, this week, we are sharing five of our favorite things to do in our home city of Toronto. One of our favorite things to do while exploring any place is check out the local markets. It gives you a great taste of the city. So, welcome to St. Lawrence Market. St. Lawrence Market has been around since the 1800s. It was taken down and rebuilt five or six times, and so now it's a collection of three different buildings, and the main building is where we're gonna go check out. There's food from everywhere. The seafood is super fresh. I think there's over 120 specialty vendors. I like the bakeries. Let's go eat everything. Snack number one. It's a good thing we came starving. <laughs> Mm. Spicy, warm, and delicious. Do you want anything else? I always want everything or else. Or should we try but... this? Or should we get an onion? <laughs> okay, that's all. Thank you. All right, we're sticking with the savory pastry filled deliciousness theme. These are like my favorite things. I, I don't even know what it's called because it's crunchy on the outside and the inside is like saucy and doughy. Mm. So there's food from all over the world here. We were just on the lower level and I think everyone can agree that the upstairs is where the action is. The St. Lawrence Market is colorful and alive and has something for everyone. It is an iconic culinary hotspot that is constantly buzzing with locals and tourists. Well, I guess we found the place to be. Look at the lineup. <laughs> Oh, oh score. amazing score. That's amazing. Wow. I don't even know where to bite. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's amazing. Try it, Tal. Mm, so fresh and I'm light. Like, All right, we're going to shovel this into our mouth pretty quick because we have an appointment to get to. We probably shouldn't have a full belly for it. Oh no. <laughs> anyway. We'll see you in a minute. You know, I might be a little biased, but I really do love this city. <laughs> Toronto is just the perfect size city, I think. You know, it's not as massive as New York. You can really walk most places. I mean, it'll be long walks, but you can get around really easily. There's a little bit of everything here. Does anybody else like Google Maps how long it's gonna take you to walk there and really try and race Google Maps? Because <laughs> we really do that. And right now we're walking by Union Station, which is a central train station, subway station. And there's a fun little like Union Station market, market that they set up there. in the summer with yeah. the stage and live music. Unfortunately, but also fortunately, we don't have time to stop to listen to some music because we are going. <laughs> Up, 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 up. Still not at the top, still not there. Okay, we'll stay there. You know when you book something and you don't really think that much about it? I don't know why I did that, but I wasn't nervous at all, and now I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. Woohoo! I'm pumped. I'm so excited. This is the waiver, basically, is just uh, that you guys are gonna follow instructions. Right now, we are inside the bottom of the CN Tower, which up until 2007 was the tallest freestanding building in the world. CN stands for Canadian National Tower because it was built on the major railway here, and now it's the biggest tourist attraction in Toronto. It makes up the entire skyline, and as of a few years ago, they added this amazing attraction, which is the Edge Walk, where you can literally walk around the edge of the CN Tower. So that's what we're gonna do today. Like the girl behind you. That's gonna be us. The edge walk isn't the only thing to do here. Anyone can come and just take a ride up the elevator. You have to pay, I think it's around 30 Canadian dollars. You take a ride up the elevator, even just that is thrilling. And there's a restaurant up there called the 360 Restaurant. There's glass floors that you can look down and it's super scary. So it's fun for the whole family. So guys, the key we should ask for the most important will have the key. We can't bring the camera up, but we'll see you up there. All right, I'm gonna call you guys out in just a minute. That is a long way down. You wanna come check it out? Madison, how are you feeling? Nice, I like it. Woo! Feeling good? 
feeling great. All right, Talia, high five guys. Great job, great job. We're just hanging out up here. We're up on top of the CN Tower. We're 356 meters above the ground, 1,168 feet, or 116 building stories up as well. So we are pretty high up here. Want to try some activities, Talia Madison? Feeling good? Yeah. All right, because Talia, you're going to lead us off for the first activity, okay? <laughs> Madison, want to try it? Yeah. And then you're just going to shuffle back with those heels until they're just over the edge like that. Holy There <laughs> you go. Give me a high five. Awesome. Awesome job. You want to try it now? Yeah, All right, you can stay out there okay. if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So, uh, yeah, right there is good. Sink right down in that harness. Holy Beautiful. <laughs> Just like that. Whee! I love it. I love it. Thumbs up. Awesome. Yeah, beautiful. That's it. Oh man. Feeling good, guys. Feeling great. All right. You can unleash your inner Nelly Furtado. All right. So, you guys look awesome. I'm gonna get you to come back on in now. We are gonna head back on inside. Woo! Great job, Maddie. Thanks, awesome. Woo! Thanks. Great job, Tyler. Great job, guys. All right. My name is Ben Josh. My name is Josh. I have been your guide today here at the Edge Walk. Thank you so much for joining me. And remember to keep living life on the edge. I think this is one of the top 10 things to do in Toronto if I had to say so myself. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> It was so great. Yeah, yeah so much fun. Yeah, How's your day? Don't forget the medicine's great. How's your day? I'll take it for her. It's a good day. And we're going to shake it off. Shake it off. Thank you. There we go. Get down and close up easily. Oh, sorry. Look at this. We're going to have to hire you. Oh my god, I forgot I had these shorts on. I thought I was naked for a second. One of the things we love most about Toronto is how diverse it is. There are so many ethnicities and cultures, which means we have the privilege to learn about traditions, languages, and food. There's Little Italy, Little Portugal, Chinatown, Greek Town, and here in Kensington Market is the culinary center of it all. The last time we were here was before we left for Mexico when we went to a taco place. Our server didn't speak a lick of English, and thankfully Maddie got me a membership to Rosetta Stone. And so we were able to practice our Spanish and now we're able to seamlessly order our tacos without any cilantro. Puedo tomar dos tacos con pescado? pescado? Sí, puedo sin cilantro. No, gracias. We both love learning new languages because it opens up so many doors for us when we're traveling. Asking for directions and actually understanding the answer makes you feel so much more confident. I love that less touristy places become so much more accessible when you know the language. Rosetta Stone doesn't rely on any translations. Instead, it unlocks your natural language abilities by teaching you through immersive learning. We have used other language learning apps in the past and we found that rather than relying on repetition and memorization, Rosetta Stone actually makes you feel like you're having real world conversations without feeling like you're following a script. Click the link in our description to get exclusive access to a lifetime subscription. It's usually worth $2.99, but with almost 40% off, you can get it for only $1.79. Rosetta Stone also offers a 30-day refund, so there's really no risk in trying it out. A big thank you to Rosetta Stone for collaborating with us on this week's video. Tal and I love coming to Kensington because it makes us feel alive. Yeah, we come here for lunch during the day, we come to bars at night, you could really come to Kensington for anything. The vibes are amazing. And I know sometimes I overuse the word vibes, but it's true. Like this is the definition of a vibe. <laughs> the vendors, there's people selling jewelry, selling clothes, selling food. There's so much to look at. There are so many characters. I just, I love it here. How many parking tickets does this guy have? Purple kale. That's expensive stuff. Tomatoes. All of your senses are constantly activated. I love this place.
The next thing you must do if you're visiting Toronto in the summer is come take a visit over to one of Toronto's islands. There are actually 15 different little islands over here, but the three main ones that are connected that people go and visit, they are called Center Island, Ward's Island, and Hanlon's Island. So we're here and we're gonna go all the way around to all the islands. So join us. So apparently in the 1800s, all of these lots had tents on them and people would rent the tent for the summer season for 15 to $20. So the map said that this would be a stroll through an eclectic neighborhood and they are not kidding. This place is wild. So if you want to come here for a bike ride, there's lots to look at. And I'm pretty sure the way that people get homes here is through like a lottery system. They don't actually own the property. Yeah. It's a lease, like a land lease. Yeah, well, we'll look more into that and uh, update you. We're exploring with you. It's about 40 degrees right now, Celsius. And there's apparently a beach right around this corner, so we're gonna go for a dip. Welcome to Ward's Island Beach, where I'm going to cool this body down. Was very refreshing. I feel like normally Lake Ontario water is way too cold to swim in but it's been so hot the past couple weeks. It was perfect. We just love it here because it's so unique. You come over to this island there are all of these green spaces, beaches, you feel like you're in a totally different city yet you look across the way and you see the Toronto skyline. It was like a five minute boat ride. It's amazing. And there are so many nooks and crannies to go to that you can do it by foot, but there are lots of bike and like quadcycle, is that what they're called? <laughs> Rentals that you could take, and I highly recommend those. I mean, I think we're winning with our GoTrax electric scooters because we just zip around. Center Island is home to Center Island Amusement Park, which is a tiny amusement park for kids. We're not gonna go in, but we'll do a little ride by. I just love that there's something for everybody to do here. The kids can go to the amusement park, there's quiet green spaces, there's kayaking. And us know? adults can go sit at the pub. <laughs> An activity for everybody. <laughs> now we're gonna go for a zoom to Hanlon's Point. So near Hanlon's Point is the clothing optional beach, which is where you go if you're extremely anti-tan lines and uh, people go there to have a good time. And it's a really great view of the city during the sunset, so it's a popular spot. All right, that concludes our time here at the Toronto Islands. Our list has been in no particular order, but I think this is pretty high up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And like, just to sum up, Ward's Island, I would say is like a bit more residential. And I think if you're riding a bike or something, there's more to look at and there's a beautiful beach. Center Island, if you've got kids, that's the place to be. The amusement park's there, yeah. there's splash pads, lots of food options. And then Hanlon's Point, there is that clothing optional beach and it seems more green space, more quiet green space to hang out. So lots of options. And each one has a dock and each one you can take the ferry or a taxi from, so. And we'll see you at dinner. not least you must check out one of the many restaurants that Toronto has to offer. The food scene here is absolutely incredible. Tonight we're here on the Ossington Strip. We love this place. We're going for dinner with my brother and his girlfriend. So you'll get to kind of meet them but we'll take you along. Across the street. Okay, so we are at 
Bang Bang Ice Cream on Ossington, and this place always has a lineup down the street. We've never waited, but we figured, what, why are you laughing at me? Just her up. Tonight's the night. Yeah, tonight's the night. It's beautiful, it's hot, and I'm ready for some ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. I don't bring you anywhere. I feel like you can get regular ice cream anywhere. Like, get the waffle. <laughs> this place is known for the waffle and the ice cream sandwich. I'm being convinced. <laughs> oh, we were. Wow, we were. <laughs> Who let Talia get chocolate ice cream? Look at her lips. She's had one bite and it's already has mm. chocolate ice cream lip liner. Mm. I hope this video convinced you that Toronto is the best city in the world. <laughs> And if you come, let us know which one of these five things you decide to check out. We could probably make a video that's twice as long because there's so much to do here, but <laughs> we won't do that. <laughs> do not forget to click the link in the description to sign up for Rosetta Stone and start learning some languages. We'll see you next Sunday. Hope we made you smile. We loved you. <laughs> and what happened? <laughs> Honestly, the best mistake ever because <laughs> this is the trick. Take someone else's. And then you also get yours. <laughs> when I call someone's come. name, just grab it. <laughs>